So this starter right here, I've had that on the car for at least 40 years. Mm -hmm. 40 years that's been on that 67 Mustang right there. Okay. I can tell it's getting tired. And this, uh, like the spring and things, and this bushing's just wearing out. So it's time. So we got, we're gonna try one of these out. Power Master XS Torque starters. It's supposed to be high torque uh, starter that can handle up to 18 to one compression ratio. So a high torque starter, I thought, you know what? The car deserves a good starter. So just what I ran into, it might not, you might not run into this, but I looked everything up, a 1967 Mustang with a 289, and it tells me that I'm gonna need this. We have a four speed transmission. So I bought this one, and this is what it looks like, and it's not right. We're about 820. Yeah. So let's do the math. Oh, we got a different rating now. Yeah, but ours looks different, doesn't it? It does, right? Ours looks different. So what this is, they call this the 3 8 model. What we need is a 3 quarter model, 3 quarter inch. So we, when we took this out, we noticed we had this long nose. So it's a 2 and 3 8 nose. If you have that 2 and 3 8 nose, this starter is not the correct one. Will not work. And you need to buy, you need to buy one of these. The 9503. That is the correct one now. We did all our measurements off the flywheel. This is this is the correct one that you needed for our car. And I've had this car, I've owned this car for 40 years this year. So I know the bell hasn't hasn't been changed out. I know the car. I know that starter's been on there. So I'm not sure why that happens, but if you want to know which starter to use, you take the old starter out, you measure off the mounting surface to the teeth of the flywheel, if it measures anything around 700,000, 710, 750, you need a three quarter inch starter. If it measures three eighths, around three eighths, which is 0.375, you need the Power Master three eighths, which is the 9504. I bought this one before winter, thinking I was gonna get to it. Six months later, I got to it. I, I bought the wrong starter, so. Uh, the only thing different if you call Power Master though is this flange and you can buy another flange. You can see how they're different a little bit. So I can buy the flange that I need for $54 from Summit. It's a 9503-03 is the adapter by itself. Mm -hmm. This is the corrected one. This is the wrong one for my application. Not sure why, but before you order the starter, measure that depth or take your old starter out mm -hmm. and check it out and check from here to, you know to here for your uh there's some uh instructions to talk about how to measure all this stuff mm -hmm. it's not that bad really uh if you really want to get down to, to measuring it it's pretty simple and uh what we did find out was we are going to have to use this included uh spacer we are going to have to take this flange off the spacer goes right in here uh, we needed to be 100,000. Yeah, we need to be uh, yeah 100 to 250,000. So we're gonna we're only we're gonna be at 120. So we're pretty close. Uh, I mean, we're in, we're in good shape. Yeah. So we got to put our bar on right here. So if you have a Ford, you can either run a cable or you can run a solid bus bar. Just get you a piece of copper, put it through here, and drill the two holes. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. So okay. this is the bus bar I added. So I think everything's good. We've got to, uh, we'll probably loosen this up here. We gotta put our shim in. Nope, wasn't bad at all. A lot of stuff. There it is. There it is. There we go. At least get you close, right? Yeah. It's got a positive wire right there. Yeah, it does. It doesn't look like it's gonna short on anything. Mm -hmm. Looks good. We're good. Nice. I didn't weigh it, but I think there's like 10 pounds difference between the stock and the high torque. Why is it, Why doing, is that? it doing that? So that's the solenoid. Alright, so maybe it wasn't the starter that was going bad. Well, I do like the way it starts out. Yeah, it sounds good. But the solenoid, I think, is bad. Okay. <laughs> so, when you take them off, I'll you just take the negative off, mm -hmm. and it won't spark. So, the question is, uh, was it timing, or was it solenoid? 
Yeah.